Now, we also need some horizontal beams. The purlins and wall plates should have similar parameters as the rafter. The only difference is that the purlins are horizontal. So, pick up the settings of any existing beam. In the info box, select the horizontal beam slant angle and set the reference axis offset value to zero. Hover the cursor over the center of any column and hit the Q key. Using the snap guide, draw the beam from the left rafter to the right one. Now activate the section tool in the toolbox and draw a vertical section line approximately in the middle of the building between beams. Click with the eye cursor on the left of the section line. Select the roof using the info box switch on the cover fill option again and deselect the roof. Right click on the section line and select the open with current view settings command from the context menu. Some problems have popped up. The position of the rafter is not right. In addition, the roof isn't insulated and its skin intersects the purlin. To solve this, we must first change the roof structure. Select the roof, right-click, and choose the Edit Selected Composite Profile command. Replace the lower airspace frame skin with the insulation mineral soft building material. And click OK. Select the purlin. Click on its upper right node and move it down on the insulation and the rafter contour line. Then right click and choose the display order bring to front command. Now we'll drag a copy of the purlin in the section window by using the shortcut control plus shift plus D in Windows or command plus alt plus D on a Mac. To find the right position of the purlins, we'll use snap guides. Hover the cursor over the bottom contour line of the roof and wait until the blue snap guide line appears. Or press the Q key to explicitly mark it as the snap reference. Click on the bottom left corner of the purlin and move it along the blue line, which is parallel to the roof, to the intersection point of the snap guide and the external line of the load bearing skin of the wall. Using the same method, drag another copy for the last beam as well. However, in this case, you should first click the bottom right corner of the purlin. Finally, deselect the purlin and switch back to 3D to check the result. The columns are still too high compared to the collar beam. So let's select them all and shorten them at the same time by using the stretch height command of the pet palette. Set the height to the bottom corner of the beam and hit escape. 